What is up, everybody? This is Killer K Rail for Wild Warrior Nutrition and my Inferno Body. So, first things first, if you're looking for good, clean supplements and you're looking for some Pine Pond, make sure to get it from Wild Warrior Nutrition. And if you're looking for an awesome home workout program that involves fasting, dietary diversity, and home workouts, make sure to get the 30 day meltdown from us, my Inferno Body, which is link in the bio, not in the bio, but it's in the write up. Okay, I get messages coming in. Now, let's get down to the matter at hand today. We're going to be talking about can I squat every day? We've been getting bombarded with a bunch of questions, and I just started looking around. I'm going to pluck this one out of the air. Can I squat every day? I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to give you some a little bit of a short answer and a long answer. The short answer, yes, you can squat every day. Should you squat every day? It depends. Just like anything else, there are variables involved with can I squat every day? So if you go to the gym and you designate Monday as your leg day, which a lot of people designate a day as a leg day, and they decide to do squats and leg presses and lunges and Romanian deadlifts or something like that and all these other exercises, you have to take certain things into account. Now, if you're going to do back squats with a heavy barbell hoisted across your upper shoulders on Monday and you're doing like 10 sets of five maximal load, do you want to do squats on Tuesday? Uh, no. Heck no. You don't want to do heavy loaded squats on Tuesday. So the key thing is this. You've got to think about the load, the amount of weight you're using, the intensity, um, how high intensity you're going with your exercise, how many reps you're doing, how many sets you're doing, the overall volume, the duration, the rest breaks in between your sets. All these things matter on whether you want to do squats on consecutive days. Now, let me give you another for instance. Okay, you just did heavy squats on Monday. Tuesday, you wake up, your legs are feeling gassed. You may not have massive muscle soreness, but you're just feeling gassed. You're feeling lethargic. Should you do squats again? Heck no. Should you do kettlebell double front squats instead of back squats? No. Should you do any form of squats? Not to a high load. I guarantee though, during the course of the day, you are going to be doing some form of squatting, especially if you go to the bathroom. I don't mean to sound graphic, but you're going to be doing some kind of squatting. If you're outside doing yard work, you're going to do some kind of squatting. If you're picking up stuff in your house, you're going to do some form of squatting on consecutive days. And if you pay attention, if you start paying attention from the moment you watch this video onward to how many times you squat during the day, you're going to be surprised at how many times you actually squat. You squat down to pick out pots and pans out of your cupboards, you, pick, you squat down to pick up children, you're picking up groceries, you're doing different things like that. So in the big picture, the short answer is yes, you can squat every day, but you should not squat with maximal load every day. That is the key factor. So don't do heavy back squats on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because you will destroy your muscles, you will destroy your joints, and you're not going to be a very happy camper. You don't want to do that. Now, when I used to teach my six-pack challenge class in a live format at the gym, I would sometimes do a form of squats on, say, Monday or Tuesday, and my class would be on Wednesday. So sometimes the squats would land on a Tuesday. And I would do like goblet squats with a kettlebell, or I do double front squats with kettlebells or whatever, because I fancy kettlebells over barbells. It's just my preference. And then in my class, I would have some form of squats, because I know a lot of the members like to do leg work as well that would come to the class. But I did it in a incognito way. I would disguise it. So what I would do is I would do body weight only, and I would do like a goblet squat, and then I'd have them do a hand walk, do five push-ups, do a hand walk back, stand back up, go do a squat, hand walk forward, do some push-ups, come back. I would integrate a squat with a, a squat and then like holding an implement like a medicine ball. So we do like a squat, we lift our arms over our head and we do a Saxon side bend to both sides. We would do that several times. So basically I would integrate squats into my programming that were non-invasive when it comes to like a maximal level. So basically if I did something high intensity on one day, the following day, it would not be ma maximal. It would just be like body weight and it'd be more restorative. So keep that in mind as well. And that can enable you to do heavy squats on Monday and some form of squats on Tuesday if you do them in an integrative pattern like I just mentioned or if you're doing it with zero load whatsoever. And to be honest with you, take that philosophy and not just with squats or leg muscles or anything and just add it to your whole regimen with all the workouts that you do and all the muscle groups. So if you're going to do chest and you're doing heavy bench presses on Tuesday, Obviously, you don't want to do heavy bench presses on Wednesday, and you may not even want to do them on Thursday. However, if you do something integrative, like I just said, and you're doing like one push-up, and then you're doing like a T-stand to each side, and then you're doing like knee pull-ins, and then you're integrating like one push-up in with a blend of other things a day after you do a heavy chest pump with, you know, barbells and, and dumbbells and stuff like that, you're totally fine. So think of it as heavy on one day, don't go heavy on two days in a row, and probably not even three days in a row if you're still feeling the effects of the workout from a couple days ago. If you go restorative on the next day, you should be totally fine, okay? So apply that to your squats, apply it to your leg work, apply it to your chest work, your back work, 
everything. And always focus on symmetry too. You know, you want to do opposing muscles. You want to do quads and you want to do hamstrings and you want to do glutes and you want to do everything in your lower body. You want to do, you know, all the motions involved with those leg compartments beneath, below the, below the belt as well. And also the same goes for upper body. You want to do chest, you want to do back, you want to have like symmetry at all times. And that's going to help prevent injury too. So I went a little deeper into the weeds about the symmetry thing and the injury prevention. But just know the bottom line is this. Squats are okay. Squats are fine. Some people like back squats. I don't particularly like them with a barbell on my back. You can do whatever you want. Whatever works best for you. And as long as you're safe and you're long, as long as you're doing 90% quality or better, it's totally fine. And if you do squats on consecutive days, just don't go maximal load. That is the key thing. So take that home with you. Think about it. Ponder it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. My name is K-Rail. Killer K-Rail by some. And this is K-Rail's Corner. I should have said that in the beginning, but I guess I didn't. Um, which I haven't done in K-Rail's Corner in a long time. And basically, it's, a, it's an informative chat session that I have with all of y'all. And I hope you all got some good information from this. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. And again, make sure to get my Inferno Body 30-Day Meltdown. And make sure to go to Wild Warrior Nutrition for all of your key supplement needs. Till next time, this is Killer K-Rail reporting live.